at least the over 50s, uh, health and social care workers and uh, people with underlying health conditions will get a booster dose in the autumn. Now, at the moment, there's no evidence that immunity is dropping off. Certainly, if you look at the hospitalisation and the death rate, you would say vaccines are still protecting people at risk, even if they uh, got their vaccine all the way back in, in December and in January. Uh, but, nevertheless, you, you're hearing today from the Joint Committee on Vaccinations and Immunisations that the NHS should be ready just in case to give a booster dose. Now, there are lots of unanswered questions, which vaccine, when, uh, and so on. Uh, those details will become uh, clear uh, over the next few weeks. Uh, but the JCVI uh, is, is saying be ready in September. And this is what the health minister had to say. We have been considering a booster vaccine and today we have received interim advice from JCVI, that's the, the independent scientific advisors uh, to the government and they are supporting that campaign and they back our plans which are to roll it out from September this year onwards and really to do what it takes to keep the virus at bay. That's the objective and they're saying that you should obviously start with the most vulnerable first and that's our plan but also alongside it offer the flu vaccine at the same time and deal with both of those at the same time. But of course this is the time of year that, uh, that GPs and pharmacists would be extremely busy in giving flu jabs and it's likely that people would be given the flu jab and the Covid jab in separate arms at the same time which might speed things up but nevertheless it's going to be a busy autumn for the NHS. Yep, Thomas, thank you very much indeed. Let's get more now on the uh, breaking news I was bringing you a moment ago. A court has overturned Bill Cosby's sex assault conviction after finding an agreement with a previous prosecutor uh, prevented him from being charged in the case. Sky's Martha Kellner 